what's up guys so this is the samsung galaxy z flip 4 and in today's tech tip i'll be showing you how to take screenshots on this phone now there are several ways of taking screenshots and i'll try to show you as many as i can so number one is the method most of you will probably use and that is the power button plus volume down which is a normal android way of taking screenshots so volume down power press them once simultaneously and release the screen flashes and a screenshot has been taken and you can see the toolbar at the bottom there so let's do that again so volume down plus power screen flashes a screenshot has been taken you can edit share and do whatever you want to do from here you can crop the screenshot you can write on it and then when you're happy with it then you can save the screenshot so if you go to your gallery and tap on albums there's a special folder called screenshots and that's why all your screenshots are going to be saved now in case you're on a page you can scroll for instance if you're on a settings page like this that you can scroll you can take scrolling screenshots by first of all taking the screenshot whichever method you use just go back quickly so take the screenshot and this time you should see an extra icon which you can use to scroll tap on it again to scroll until you're happy and then you can have the screenshot saved so there is a scrolling screenshot you can find it in the gallery there it is there is our long scrolling screenshot now whichever method you use to take a screenshot if you're on a scrollable page like the settings page or even on a browser page where you're reading a long article then it will give you the option to take scrolling screenshots now there are other methods of taking screenshots which i'll show you first is palm swipe so if you swipe your palm like that it takes a screenshot or even the other direction it still takes a screenshot so that's the palm swipe to screenshot feature to use that you first of all have to enable it in the settings so if you go to settings and then go to advanced features and then under advanced features go to motions and gestures tap on that and then look for palm swipe to capture and make sure that is enabled the only reason it's working is because it's enabled so if you have it disabled then make sure you enable it if you want to use the palm swipe to capture screenshots now you can also capture screenshots using the edge panel this is the edge panel this little line here if you slide it it shows you a couple of shortcuts so that's the edge panel so to use the edge panel to capture screenshots the first thing you need to do is make sure the edge panel is actually enabled and you can use it so first go to settings under settings go to display and then under display look for edge panel tap on it and make sure it's enabled the only reason you can see mine is because i have it enabled now having done that make sure you have the tasks panel added so go to panels and then as you can see by default we have the apps panel enabled so make sure the tasks panel is also enabled if you want to you can disable this and only remain in the tasks panel but also you can leave them both together anyway so once that is enabled if you go to the edge panel and slide again to show tasks then you have the option to take screenshots so tap on that and that's going to take a screenshot also if you're on a scrollable page it will give you the option to take a scrolling screenshot now i'm going to show you one more way of taking screenshots and this is using the floating uh, menu to enable that floating menu go to settings under settings go to accessibility and then under accessibility find interaction and dexterity tap on that and then enable the assistant menu tap on allow and that will give you this little floating shortcut menu that you can use 
So this will always be floating on your screen and you can place it wherever you want. And anytime you need to call on it, simply tap on it and it's going to give you all the shortcuts. One of the shortcuts there is screenshots. So if you tap on screenshot, it takes a screenshot for you. And these are the four different ways of taking screenshots. But one bonus tip is you can also take a screenshot of the other screen on your phone. If you fold it, then the volume up button becomes volume down when it's in this mode. So this time you're going to use power and volume when it's folded. It's a different button when it's open, but when it's folded, this is now the volume down button. So if you use power and volume down, let's do that again. So power and volume down. It takes a screenshot. There you go. So it's taking a screenshot right now. And if you go into your gallery, you should be able to find the screenshot of your front screen right there. There you go. There's your screenshot. And those are the different ways of taking screenshots on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. And good luck.